What if the future of energy didn't depend on rare earth metals, toxic chemicals, or high pressure tanks, but instead, something as ordinary as iron? In a lab tucked into the hillside of ETH Zurich's Hungerberg campus, researchers may have just revived a century-old idea and turned it into one of the most promising energy storage solutions of our time. Here's the incredible part. It's built using nothing more than stainless steel tanks and untreated iron ore. And yet, this system can already store enough energy to power multiple homes, all while being safer, cheaper, and longer lasting than many high-tech alternatives. Let's unpack how this works, what makes it special, and why it might just be the breakthrough the world needs to finally balance renewable energy with everyday demand. A new kind of battery with ancient roots. More than 100 years ago, scientists noticed something strange when they heated iron in the presence of steam. The iron rusted, forming iron oxide, and in the process it released hydrogen gas. The reaction was reversible too. Feed the iron oxide hydrogen, and it turned back into iron, releasing heat and storing energy. Back then, this reaction was mostly used to make hydrogen for industrial use. But now, the team at ETH Zurich is doing something entirely new. They're taking this old chemistry and using it as the foundation for an energy storage system that acts like a massive rechargeable battery, one that could store solar energy for months and release it exactly when it's needed, like in the dead of winter when solar output drops. They call it a reversible redox system, and at the heart of it is a simple loop. Hydrogen reduces iron oxide to iron, charging, and steam reoxidizes the iron to release hydrogen, discharging. All of it happens at about 400 degrees Celsius inside robust stainless steel tanks filled with finely ground, untreated iron ore. The pilot plant. Big ambitions with simple materials. The current pilot installation at ETH Zurich consists of three 1.4 cubic meter reactors. Together, they store the energy equivalent of 10 megawatt hours of hydrogen. After conversion losses, that's four to six megawatt hours of usable electricity enough to supply three to five Swiss single-family homes during the winter months. But ETH Zurich isn't stopping there. By 2026, they plan to expand this technology to cover 20% of their entire Hungerberg campus's winter energy demand. This will be done using solar energy collected in the summer, stored chemically in the iron tanks, and discharged later during colder months, when energy usage spikes. That kind of seasonal storage is a major milestone in renewable energy. Solar panels can overproduce during sunny months, but that energy needs to be stored somewhere. And current battery systems like lithium-ion aren't built for months-long storage. They're great for quick, short-term use, but they suffer energy loss and capacity degradation over time. ETH Zurich system? It's designed for seasonal energy retention with minimal losses. How safe is it? Incredibly. Let's talk safety, because that's where this system shines. Traditional hydrogen storage often involves high-pressure tanks, volatile gases, and complex safety protocols. Lithium-ion batteries, as we've seen in everything from smartphones to EVs, can overheat, catch fire, or explode under stress. This iron-based system, it's non-toxic, operates at normal pressure, and uses inert materials like iron oxide, which is essentially just rust. If the iron powder spills, it doesn't ignite, in fact, it helps smother flames, much like sand in a fire extinguisher. Claims that the system is explosion-proof or impact-resistant might be a bit of a stretch without full-scale destructive testing. But it's fair to say this is one of the safest energy storage systems under development today. Efficiency, scalability, and realistic expectations. You may have heard numbers like 79% efficiency thrown around. While that's likely optimistic, the real takeaway is this. The ETH ETH Zurich system is efficient enough for seasonal storage and doesn't suffer from the self-discharge problems that plague other large-scale systems. For example, the US is building an 8.5 gigawatt hour iron air battery in Minnesota, designed by Form Energy. Iron air batteries are great for discharging power slowly over 100 hours or more. But their recharge time? Days, even weeks. In contrast, ETH Zurich's hydrogen-mediated system allows for faster, more flexible energy input and output. It's not instantaneous like lithium-ion, 
but it's fast enough to respond to daily energy fluctuations and store solar surpluses. Even better, it scales. While each current tank is over a cubic meter in volume, the researchers estimate that a home would only need between 1.1 and 1.6 cubic meters of storage to meet its annual electricity needs, assuming that home is well insulated and energy efficient. That's about the size of an old fuel oil tank in many European basements. A vision for the grid and beyond. As more solar panels and wind farms come online, the energy grid is becoming increasingly unstable. Not because of shortages, but because of intermittency. Sometimes there's too much power, sometimes not enough. Grid operators need flexible, scalable storage. ETH Zurich system could offer that. It's built from iron and stainless steel, abundant, recyclable, and already well-understood materials in industrial supply chains. With mass production, costs are expected to drop even further, making it attractive not just for homes, but for cities, regions, even entire countries looking to balance renewable generation with daily and seasonal needs. And because it doesn't rely on lithium, cobalt, or other critical materials, it sidesteps the geopolitical and environmental concerns tied to those supply chains. Caution on the hype, not everything is proven yet. A few caveats are important here. No source has confirmed the often quoted 30 kilograms of hydrogen per cubic meter figure. The actual hydrogen density in the tanks depends on the specific form of iron oxide used, reactor temperature, and operating pressure. Also, round-trip efficiency hasn't been pinned down with precision. It likely ranges between 40 and 60 percent, similar to other hydrogen-based systems. But for long-term seasonal storage, the real value is in how little energy is lost over time. And here, ETH Zurich's design is excellent. What about the competition? While ETH Zurich is leading in safe, reversible iron-based hydrogen storage, they're not the only game in town. Companies like Form Energy and startups in China and the US are also working on iron air and other metal-based battery systems. But many of those rely on slow charging and discharging rates. They're useful for grid balancing over long periods, but not flexible enough for dynamic, daily fluctuations. ETH's system, while not as rapid as lithium, strikes a balance. Flexible enough for daily needs, long-lasting enough for seasonal shifts, and safe enough for residential and urban use. Final thoughts. Iron as an energy hero? If iron can power our homes, stabilize our grids and store solar energy from summer to winter, all while avoiding toxic materials and rare resources, we may be witnessing a quiet revolution. And the beauty of it? The materials are already here. The chemistry is old. What ETHIA Zurich has done is not invent something from scratch, but rediscover and optimize something brilliant that was almost lost to history. So while it may be too soon to say this is the battery of the future, it's certainly earned a place in the race. If you liked this video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.